What's going on everybody? So I'm currently top 100 on ladder with this very, very broken deck. Uh, giant Graveyard with the Bowler and Little Prince. Uh, I'm just kind of taking over the meta right now. I know it's... Um, a lot of the meta is currently Minor Poison. That's kind of an unlucky starting hand, by the way. I don't have my Bowler or Little Prince, but, you know, I'll take one Hog Kids. The really easy part about this deck is that you can take damage and just, like, ignore everything and go ahead and go in all other lane and get their entire tower with one Giant Graveyard. But, yeah, I do like to build up a little bit more my pushes than just go Giant Graveyard of the Bridge most of the time, but you never know. Situations change, so I'm going to cycle the Bowler in the back. This should be an okay matchup. Um, I mean, actually, he's playing Hog Cycle with Firecracker. I have arrows, but I don't know. It might be a little difficult just because he can outcycle me pretty quickly. Um, but as long as I can survive into the later stages of the game and like actually build really big pushes, I think I should be able to win this one. I'm going to try and snipe this firecracker with my little prince right now that it's going to lock on my boulder. That should take it out. Yep, nice. Okay. Um, he does have Tesla. Okay, so that's fine. He doesn't have Bomb Tower. I'm actually just going to Graveyard right away. He's probably going to... Okay, I'm going to arrow that. I thought he was going to Goblins on top of my Graveyard, but no, that was actually probably a pretty smart play by him. Um, I still get a lot of damage, but that was decently well defended. He had to spend a lot of Elixir with that Earthquake and that Log, though. Um, so I think we're up a few, maybe. Not that it really changes too much. The Evil Archers, also, I've been playing them better. <laughs> so don't yell at me when I... Um, Hopefully I don't make any mistakes using them this time because everybody gets mad at me in the comments because I don't put them far enough away. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to go goblins. He's actually going to go into a bowler with a hog. That's very interesting. Um, he does not get a swing, so that's really good. Firecracker is going to be very annoying here since I don't have arrows. Ah, this is actually going to suck. Um, maybe I can snipe it with archers, actually. I'm going to try, please. That would be ideal. Nice, we are going to kill it with the archers, so that's pretty good. I can just go ahead and start up another giant in the back. In this matchup, I just want to keep gianting the back other lane and just wait for my opportunity to kind of go in here. Um, I'm going to Little Prince first and then pop the ability most likely. Um, he's actually not going to do anything, so I'm just going to bowler the back. I thought he was going to... Okay, there's the there's the firecracker. I can pop the ability now. Should push back this hog. Um, and that... Wow, look how far that Little Prince just traveled. He's going to protect this firecracker, obviously. But that's fine. He does waste his his log, so I can go in on offense now. Wait, this could be a chance because he overcommitted on that defense, in my opinion. I can snowball his goblins. Should hit all four. Okay, we hit three. That's still pretty good. Um, dang, if I had arrows in rotation right there, I might have won this game, like right there. But Super Archer is getting so much value that time for me. Gonna go bowler, and look at that. It gets a shot on tower after doing all of that. Um, that's probably gonna get one swing on my tower. That's fine. I'm honestly just gonna go giant to tank for this firecracker, then Little Prince to snipe it once it locks on again. Yep, perfect timing there. Hopefully. I can pop this little prince ability and help take out... Dang, that, that shot twice? Um, that's fine. I can just arrows that. He's going to goblins on top of my giant, though. Dang, that was pretty good defense by him. Um, he does outcycle me very easily, but as long as I can just get, like, one massive push, I think I have a chance of winning this. Um, he's going to go hog with this, most likely, so I have to bowler early. Hmm. I'll snowball that, then go goblins on top of the firecracker. Dang, this is tough. He's just going to protect this firecracker. I can't really do too much about it right now which is very unfortunate, so he gets a lot of damage. Um, please kill the firecracker. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's gonna. it's finally going to die. I'm just going to cycle archers in the back. He's going to hog again, so I'll just get another another bowler down. I really can't arrows that. If I do, I'm never going to be able to break through. But, I mean, I have to right here. I can't waste anything else. Um, I'm going to have to just build up a slow push in the back. I do have super archers back in rotation here, um, so I can maybe do something. I'll go for the giant in the back now. Definitely don't want to go with the bridge. I'm going to super archers in the middle to try and just snipe everything. They're going to kill that entire Tesla. Look at that value from them. I can arrows this, or not arrows, snowball this firecracker. Should take it off the map. Nice. Okay, that's really good. And then I can just go ahead and super archer on tower. Hold up. I can go boulder on defense because he's got a hog. And then, let's see. Yep, there's the hog. I can go for the graveyard now. He's going to overcommit with the firecracker. Okay, I have a really good chance to win this if I just arrows these goblins. I think he's dead. Yeah, there's no way he can... Um defend this whole push he overcommitted on offense a really nice prediction boulder um on that hog that pretty much won me that entire game i'm glad i did that and kind of just i don't know predicted what he was going to do and then went in aggressively that's going to put me at what top 50 number 50 in the world with giant graveyard which i've never played before not bad this deck counters a little prince very very well because the bowler is just so good against it i still have level 13 obviously um i'm actually seriously debating just freaking paying a billion dollars to get the little prince maxed out um okay pump is actually really bad for me because i don't have a big spell i guess i'll, I'll just go ahead and arrow snowball which isn't great but you know it does it does something i guess um i'll pop the little prince ability right there maybe an overcommit by me but we will have to find out um looks like he might be playing either pumpo or just like e-giant hopefully it's not e-giant because that's one of the hardest matchups 
for this deck and this is not a good start at all um i guess it is pretty weak to this like decks that have quick pump cycle because you don't have the big spell obviously or like any minor or anything to try and dps down his pump so i'm just gonna have to cycle my archers in the back and then i could arrows again he's gonna pump up again isn't he oh my goodness this guy yeah that's fun i'm gonna go for the arrows um as long as he's not playing e giant he's playing expo i might have a chance still but this is obviously not how you want to start a game i'm just gonna cycle my little prince in the back i guess um i'm surprised he hasn't gone in with his win condition yet i'm guessing it's expo or he would have been e giant the bridge already like 10 minutes ago i'm just gonna go for the giant in the back i guess um oh my goodness okay um okay what do i do here i actually have no idea this is the problem i don't have enough enough experience with this deck yet to know what i'm doing uh every single time so i'm gonna go for the bowler i've only been playing it for like a couple hours total so um i'm gonna go super archers in the middle try and get some good damage on top of his troops here and then i can just arrows this i'm actually gonna snowball as well just to take these stupid pumps off the board and then super archers still putting in work bowler getting lined up on tower that's what we love to see bowler gonna go again and again and maybe even one more oh we'll take that bowler overpowered right there um it gets another shot <laughs> okay nerf that card i actually think bowler is one of the best cards in this entire meta just because there's so it gets so much value in almost every single matchup um okay i'm gonna giant the bridge here i don't know what to do um i guess i'll just cycle arrows in the pump he's gonna pump up again though most likely i'll pop the ability maybe okay that hit absolutely nothing um let's see this could be pretty bad i'm not gonna lie oh boy oh uh, yeah yeah this is bad i don't have no i need the goblins no 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 that's really bad the reason i yep i lost um the reason i wanted two goblins right there is because i knew he was gonna log and log wouldn't have killed the archers that stupid ice spirit jumped off oh, such bad just like such a bad interaction for me right there um it's not the end of the game though because he doesn't have big spell he's obviously playing pump bow but you know this is not over because he doesn't have um any pumps on the board right now so i could potentially come back i'm just gonna cycle little prince in the back here he's gonna go evo knight okay and then i'm just gonna go ahead and archers get my giant down to start tanking and then okay let's see i'm gonna pop the ability first see what he wants to do um i'm gonna arrows this as well just to help dps down we are gonna catch the goblins in this which is good i can just go for my goblins again right here and then i think this is fine i'm gonna go for my bowler oh my goodness this expo does not want to die apparently um, but we're fine i have super archers as well in rotation so i could potentially do something here wait hold up i have an idea i'm gonna go giants uh, actually i'm gonna wait for that to lock on the boulder then go archers and then giant in front in case he tries to snipe it or something um with little prince he does not so i can just go graveyard and this could potentially be something he doesn't have a, uh, a building i can arrows his goblins hold up we're gonna kill the little prince too he does pop the ability i'm just gonna pre-snowball whatever he wants to do that should knock back everything he does have to go log and we're right back in this game now getting his tower down to a little bit under a thousand let's go um I'm going to be patient here because I know he's going to expo. Yep, did not make the same mistake as last time, uh, leaving myself too low on Elixir. This time I can just go for the bowler to hit, hit both of those, and then I'm going to pop the um, archers over here on the other side and go arrows to kill the little prince, and we're very, very big chilling right now. I'm going to go giant in front of this little prince as well. Just kind of uh, apply some pressure on both sides, I guess. Um, pop the ability. Oh my goodness, we hit something. That's got to be game. He's dead. There's no way. He doesn't have a building. Giant's going to get to tower no matter what he does. He could drop his entire bard, but these arrows are going to take out all of his squishy units, and that's going to be game. Expo just stands absolutely no chance against Giant Graveyard. A lot of the meta right now is currently like cycle decks like Hog and... Um, Hog and Minor poison cycle so i feel like this deck actually has a chance against both of those um if you play it correctly i'm gonna go for my little prince in the back see what he's gonna do here he's probably got a spell for this yeah he's got the fireball which does kill my little prince unfortunately since it is a little bit under leveled um i'm just gonna go archers in the back here see what he wants to do with this he's playing drill cycle okay i'm gonna boulder it's gonna give me a ton of value actually with that drill it's also gonna hit the knight so yeah two for one situation right there and that bowler gets a clean strike such an underrated card like i'm telling you guys this card is probably a or maybe even s tier in this meta specifically um but you know you'll you'll see when the bowler just continues to dominate there's also a very good e-giant deck right now um it's like e-giant bowler with obviously little prince i might share that in a couple days i'm not too sure if i want to try it out it seems like it's fun to play um but i usually am not really an e-giant player <laughs> um 
Although I did make that one video with the pump like a few days ago, I just uh, usually don't play the, play the card very often. So I'm going to go for the graveyard since my giant is cross bridge. Everyone has goblins. I don't know what it is um, about them, but everyone just loves to run them at the moment. So I can just kind of be patient here. He's going to go knight. He lost the game because he has no elixir for this left side. I'm telling you, this is tower. He has actually, actually like two elixir right now. Um, he's got three elixir. He's going to little prince on zero, but that's still going to be entire tower down. And I think the play here is... What is the play? I'm going to let this knight lock on and then go for the goblins behind, I think. Yeah. And then I'm just going to go ahead and... Okay. Bowler up high. That should take out... Oh, that was supposed to pull the little print. Or the... Wow. That was probably the worst case scenario right there for me. Um, I had an idea of what I was doing in my head. And then there's just like too many things on the board. I couldn't put the bowler in the placement I wanted it to put to be put in. Um, but we're still fine. Even if it gets into, two, into a two tower situation... Um, then obviously I have a massive advantage because Giant Graveyard is the best two tower deck in the entire game, in my opinion. Uh, maybe Sparky. Sparky's pretty good too, but I'm going to go for the Graveyard and then just Giant the Pocket because I'm so skillful. I can just go ahead and Arrows this. Okay, I already dropped him. I probably should have put him on top of the Goblins actually, thinking about it now, but I just want to kill the Little Prince to be honest. Uh, I'm going to pop the ability here and then that should wipe out... Okay, that did not protect my Little Prince uh, like I was hoping it would. I can go Goblins up high. And then these super archers should put in some good work. I can go for the bowler. It's going to kill the rest of this here. Bowler's so overpowered. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm telling you, it's the best card to have against the little, the little prince in the entire game. I'm telling you, it's such a good counter to it. Um, he's going to take my left side tower, most likely. I'm actually just going to force out more elixir from him by going little prince. I can also arrows. He does log. That shouldn't take it, though, right? Oh, that goblin's going to take it. No, that's sad. Um, it's still fine, though. I can just go bowler in front of my tower, and, like, how is he going to break through that? Okay, that was the worst little prince I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, not sure what he really expected to happen right there, but I can probably just go giant graveyard in the pocket. I'm going to defend first, though. Just be... It's better safe than sorry. He thought I was going to giant graveyard, so... Yeah, I mean, uh, it makes sense why he went all in right there. And now I think we're going to win this game just because he overcommitted. Um, and there's not really any way he can stop this, right? I can go for the giant to tank, and he does go palm tower, but that doesn't really change much because it's still tanking for both towers, and that's going to be game. I'm going to go arrows. Maybe not game yet, but, like, on the next push it is because I have to just cycle back. Oh, I'm already to a snowball. That's game. 40 HP on this tower. That's going to be GG's, and that's just way too easy. This deck is so overpowered. I was going to call it the video there, but I was like, you know what? I'm actually having fun playing this, so I'll go for one more, which I will say it does not usually happen. I'm usually like, okay, I'm done. Um, but, oh crap, that's not good. I feel like Sparky is one of the decks that I really don't know how to play against with this deck specifically because I don't have enough experience, but I guess the only way to get better is to just keep doing it, right? So I'm going to go Goblins once that locks on to hopefully take the Sparky out. Please kill the Sparky. Okay, nice. <laughs> it is going to die. Finally, I can just go ahead and split my archers in the back here. Okay. Um, I'm becoming manual, guys. I got to become the next manual. <laughs> no, I can't even like think about that right now. That'd be so funny, though. Okay, he's going to lightning that. So, very aggressive player on our hands here. Um, Bowler's going to clean up that Dark Prince pretty, pretty well. I honestly don't really want to use that on the Dark Prince, though, if I'm honest. But it's fine. I'm probably just going to cycle... What do I do here? I'm going to see what he does for this bowler, actually. I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, I'll just snowball his tower. Huh, what do I do here? So he's probably going to Sparky in the back again, if I had to guess. I can just Goblins to defend that knight. And he's going to go Little Prince. Okay, that's fine. I can just match him with my Little Prince in the back as well. Um... Ah, <sighs> okay, what do I do? So, I could just go for Giant Graveyard Other Lane, but it's really aggressive. I'm going to pop the ability... Hopefully my little prince wins this interaction. It is going to do so, I think. Um, or at least get pretty close. I can go for the archers. He's going to go goblin giant, probably. In front of this. Okay, I have to go defensive graveyard. If I don't, I'm dead. So I'll do that. And then I'm going to bowler as soon as I can here. In the back. Hopefully my skellies can tank for the sparky long enough. He does arrow my archers as well. Um, I think we're okay. Wow, I'm actually fine. Those two larrys just saved my life right there. I'm not going to lie. Um... Could have been a lot worse. Definitely could have been a lot worse. I'm going to start up a giant in the back here. He still needs to respond to that bowler. So he's going to waste his Dark Prince. We have Evo Archers now, which could come in very, very handy um, in these next few pushes. 
Bowler is going to give me a nice little lineup on tower. I'm going to pop the Mighty, not Mighty Miner, that's a Little Prince. Um, I'm actually going to snipe this Sparky. Hold up, wait, we might have just won this game. Hear me out, I'm going to go, yep, he's going to Lightning, that's game. There's no way he can defend that. He just spent 12 Elixir on that left side with the Sparky and the Lightning. He's going to try and take my tower on the left side. Yep, that was pretty obvious. Okay, so if I just go for the arrows, the Bowler Rock is going to hit the Sparky, then I can Snowball, and that's going to kill everything. Okay, he does pop the ability, but I can get down a second bowler, and I think I'm okay. Um, yeah, I'm fine. GG's. Wow. That just shows the, the power of this deck. Like, he makes one little overcommit on defense, and I figure it out. Bang. Super Archers win me that entire game, because he's forced a lightning. If he doesn't, his entire, his entire Sparky dies. But yeah, this deck is crazy. Try it out if you want some free trophies, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.